Lord everyone and thank you for joining me for an episode of God Speaks. So today I want to talk to you guys about him sending them out by twos. And as always, let's get started with the prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your goodness and your mercy this morning. Lord, we thank you for this day that you have given unto us. Lord, let us not waste even a second, Father God. Let us be found doing everything you have called and purposed us to, Father God. Lord, do not allow distractions, Father God. Um, d help us to not allow distractions to deter us Father God in the name of Jesus but may we chisel at the things you have told us to do Lord I pray God that we be beacons of light and we brighten up every area of darkness that we may come upon so Lord I just ask that the words in my mouth and the meditation of my heart be found acceptable in your sight for you are my strength and my redeemer God I bless you and I praise you Lord I pray Father God that each one Father God will allow this word to minister to them Lord and not only be hearers of the words but doers of the word in jesus christ's name we pray amen and amen so praise the lord happy thursday y'all um we are almost there and i want to talk about how he sent them out by twos and um being equally yoked and you know a lot of times we hear that scripture and we think it just pertains to marriage which it does but it also pertains to friendship and it also um pertains to french uh to, to ministry god sent them out two by two when elijah elijah was um at a certain place in his walk but elijah was with him so here's the thing we have to keep in mind that you have to have accountability ministry without accountability is the most dangerous thing because what you're doing is you're representing god without any checks and balance just like um on your job you have a supervisor in school you have a teacher there is always someone who needs to be able to um needs to be able to check your progress make sure that you're on course for the goal at hand which is to win souls and to be obedient to God and a lot of times you hear um, all these different um, people say well you know prophets don't belong in the church and this that and the third that's that's where they belong honestly um the problem is a lot of people don't want accountability i don't feel that you have the right to tell me that i'm out of order i don't feel that you have the right to tell me that i'm wrong and a lot of times you will come across people um that you have been friends with or people that you may not even know that would give you a level of truth that may agitate your agitate those spirits like hold on wait a second who do you think you are to tell me but here's the thing if you don't want to be corrected then you don't want to be in the will of God because what it is meant to do is bring to light what is hidden from our own eyes so that the enemy can keep operating that way but what other people do is they shed light on the things and sometimes it's so important to be um, transparent with not only God but the people that are around you um, it says um, we overcome by the uh, blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony so because of that we have to make sure that we are we have to make sure that we are allowing ourselves to be corrected and directed and here's the thing yes we follow Christ right but God has placed people in positions to help us now in this walk you are going to need um, a few different people there was um, an apostle David uh, Judah and he did a great message I don't know how to add stuff in the links but if I figure it out I'll share and he was talking about how you needed James a John and a Peter and he was talking about the different elements but I'm saying that you at least need one to walk this journey every time he sent them out he sent them out with by twos um, even with um, with Paul he sent silence so there there is there's always going to be someone else with you. you need somebody that you can know has the heart of God doing ministry with you a lot of times you'll see people put their cousins their friends their whoever that they know or have familiarity with in positions of leadership and it's a very dangerous thing you need someone that when you get weak that you can call them up and say hey let me pray for you um or, or can you pray for me when they uh, vice versa excuse me um when they get weak they can call you and when you get weak you can call them you need someone who can say hey i see you bearing to the left on this i see i see that you are not in right relationship with god right now i see you have allowed this distraction this person this problem to come in and take root and i'm just here to advise you not to but here's the thing always be open to correction the bible says that open rebuke 
is good you know it, it, it is and it is it's good it describes it as a good thing and here's the thing you here's the thing you don't want a friend in your life who is not going to tell you when you are wrong and what you start to do is cultivate that type of friendship when they tell you something you don't want to hear and you argue it. Now, I'm not saying that every accusation that they bring to you may be truthful, but at least examine it. Examine it by the word of God. Take it back to God in prayer. Say, God, am I really doing these things? Because it is meant for us to grow. We are... Um, we are evolving beings. Every day we grow um, to a different capacity. You know, we may learn something new. We may, uh, you know, whatever the case is, but we are constantly evolving. And in order to do that, you have to be open to correction. So I just want to encourage you on today. If you have a friend in your life that is going to tell you about you when you don't want to hear about you, don't get rid of that friend. Don't get upset with that friend. Evaluate what they're saying and take it back to God. And remember that you need someone who is grounded in the faith not someone who's tossed to and from but somebody who's grounded in the faith that they have made up in their mind that alpha and omega jesus christ is their lord and savior the king of kings that you want someone who has relationship with him that this is their stance that even in the dark days even in the jury days that they are going to stand for christ that's the type of friendship that you need in your life so i want to encourage you um, to make sure that you are seeking God with all that you have and that you are being open to whatever it is that he is telling you to do. So in all things, be blessed. You guys have a wonderful Thursday.